My name is Matt Mohena. I'm in grade 12 and I was chosen for the September Student of the Month. I'm Cindy Wolf. I was elected for the October Student of the Month and I'm in 9th grade. Hi, my name is Madison Coultry. I'm in 10th grade and I'm the October Student of the Month. My name is Brendan Shannon. I'm in 11th grade and I was chosen for the October Student of the Month. My name is Rachel Halverson. I'm a senior and I was chosen as the October Elk Student of the Month. My name is Emily Plotkin. I'm a senior and I am October Student of the Month. My favorite academic subjects would probably be like history and math. History just because it's fun to learn about what other people went through in general and just to, to feel their experiences and understand it truly. And math is just, I, I don't know, numbers come easy to me. It's just kind of fun with it. My favorite classes in high school are the science classes because I want to be a physician assistant. So those classes are preparing me for that. So my favorite subjects are probably history and art because I really like expressing myself through art. And history, I really like learning about like the history of like our country and things like that. My favorite subjects in school are math and engineering. Um, I like math because a lot of numbers and it's calculations and stuff that I like to do it comes pretty easy. And engineering because I want to go into that field and it's interesting to build and help people. My favorite subject right now in school is AP Psychology. Um, it just makes you look at the way we function and why we do the things we do at like a whole different perspective and it's really interesting. My two favorite subjects are history and science. I like history because I like learning about why things are the way they are now, it's always interested me. And science because, again, I just like learning why things work the way they do and I'm going to go into that field in college. Oh, my plans after high school are to go to college and hopefully get a job after college in engineering, um, specifically computer engineering, to create new technology to further advance just the world. My plan right now is to attend college. I'm currently applying and um, just waiting to hear what schools I get into. Um, it's super stressful, but you know, it's something I've wanted to do my whole life and something that everyone says it's something you need to experience. So I'm excited. So after high school, I want to go to college and then I want to probably go to medical school, get my degree and then become a surgeon. I probably want to be a nurse or something in that medical field. I don't know exactly what yet, but I think um, I just want to do something that'll probably help people and really like allow them to um, like get a better experience fr from my doing, I suppose. After high school, I want to be a physician assistant because I really enjoy helping people, and I feel like that career is um, perfect for like allowing me to do that. I plan to go to college and probably do something in the medical field because I really like caring for people and just like um, doing like hands-on things. So I either want to be a cardiac surgeon or a plastic surgeon, um, just because I knew that if I wanted to go into the medical field, I would need to do something that's interactive, something with my hands and not something like analyzing test results or whatever like that. So I knew I wanted to be a surgeon and I've always been interested in the heart and that system and also plastic surgery, so either one of the two. So I've been looking into orthodontia. I like, oh, that's one of the things that I want to do, like become an orthodontist or something like that, yeah. I think I was chosen for student of the month because um, I show passion in my work and um, I'm a very hard worker and uh, I like to be creative and have fun with my work no matter what it is. So it feels good when your hard work pays off. I'm just a really hard worker, I've always been. Um, I'm a helpful person, I like helping people, and I'm also just a natural leader. I think I have a lot of good leadership skills and listening to other people and all that. I'm kind to others, I'm really friendly, so I like, I like involving people if like they feel left out or anything. And I consider myself pretty like outgoing to like all people, yeah. My characteristics that would make me like student of the month, I'd say I'm probably like a hard, I'm a hard working person, like I'm very dedicated, like as, if there's work, I'll, I'll push myself through it until I can actually get it done. Then I'll do whatever. I'm also like outgoing in the sense that if you ask me, like if someone, a teacher asks a question in class, then I'll probably be able to answer with like, I don't, I'm lucky in the sense that I don't have like, I'm not nervous to answer questions out loud like that. So probably that. I'm hardworking and I have good leadership skills. 
I think the characteristics that make me the best for student of the month would be that I'm a leader in a lot of clubs, um, community service clubs especially, which I know the Elks like, and I also am very hardworking in school, which I think the school appreciates. So I play soccer for a separate travel team, not for the school, but I also do uh, two clubs here, the Health Science Club and the Interact Club. Inside school, um, um, like activities-wise, I'd say I'm a, I'm a part of the Health and Science Club, which is actually really fun. They have a lot of like interesting things, especially for my future career choice. Other than that, I also do sewing sometimes, and I make little handbags and other things, and it's it's been fun. I mainly sew toys for my dog, but she's really good. My favorite activities are I, I play lacrosse for the school in the spring. Um, I'm also in TSA, which is like not Technology Student Association, which is with engineering. Um, and I'm also part part of my uh, church's youth group, who with how we do um, community service and all sorts of stuff to help. Some of my favorite activities are to play soccer. I've been on the varsity team since freshman year. I also really like participating in the Interact Club. And then at, um, outside of school, I am the president of a nonprofit tutoring organization, so I really like doing that as well. I really like acting, theater, outside of school and inside of school. I do the school musicals and I also do like film acting and other stuff outside of school. I like being part of NHS, I'm president of NHS, so I've been able to contribute a lot with that in school. Um, I also, I do swim in the winter for school. Um, I just like hanging out with loved ones, my friends, my family, um, things like that, working out too. The influence in, is in my life that probably motivated me to see would probably be my mom and dad. My dad is just a very like talkative person in the sense he could just, he could just, he could walk into a room and befriend everyone in it. That's just the type of like vibe I want, I want to. Um, like give off myself in a sense to be that type of friendly person and my mom is like pure titanium like she's just like a very smart woman in the sense that she could like she could explain anything to you and you could immediately get it even for even for my my myself she could just explain anything to me and it immediately comes so more clear it's just that that type of intelligence i really 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 want to have from her some of the influences in my life that motivate me to succeed are definitely my family because they are always my biggest supporters, um, encouraging me to do well, and also my teachers because they work so hard and I always want to just do well by them as well. My grandmother, she was always a super hard worker um, and always very positive. She went through a lot of struggle, but she was always a very positive person. And so that showed me that you can go through struggle and work hard while still like maintaining your happiness. So definitely my grandmother has been my biggest role model. I kind of do everything for her. Definitely my mom. My mom actually works in the uh, medical field, well kind of, she's a PA. And she like really teaches me like important lessons in life and like looking at certain things in a different way. Probably my mom because she's been with me for all my years of living and she's been the one to motivate me even when I'm down and my grades haven't been the best. She's there to help me with my work and um, make me want to keep going. I would say my biggest influences are um, my parents, you know, they push me to do my best and um, also just other people who have succeeded in life, just it really makes you look up to them and want to be like them and inspire you. So. I would like to thank my family and my friends and also all the teachers that I've had over the course um, at Northern because they've all been such a great impact on me. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for sticking with me and believing in me even when times are tough and just giving me the resources to succeed. Well, I want to thank Mr. Dowd for nominating me for Student of the Month and um, I want to thank my parents for sticking through with me after all the crazy years of trying to strive for success. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what the years bring. Person I'd like to thank the most would probably be my dog. No one else, just my just my dog. I'm kidding. Uh, probably would be my um, just my family in general. My mom, my dad. Th um, those guys really support me. Even even my brother. He's just he, he's there, but he's he he tries to support me like 90% of the time. But still, like yeah, pretty much those guys. I like to thank my mom and my family for just really helping me and encouraging me through all the things I'm interested in or like pursuing my dreams, I guess, and um, like pushing me in areas that I want to be pushed in. I want to thank my parents, my mom and dad have been there for me every step of the way. Um, they facilitated my success, they gave me what I needed, and they never gave up on me, so definitely them too.